Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lesson. Today I am going to discuss MCQs of the lesson quality which is written by John Galsworthy. So here I begin and before that let me ask you have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not subscribed up till now then please do and watch the video till end and press the like button if you have liked it and don't forget to hit the bell icon for my latest notification do put your valuable comments below so children let us start with the mcqs and before that let me tell you you all also start marking the answers and see how many of them you have got them correct but Read the lesson thoroughly before solving this and I am sure you will be able to solve all the MCQs which I have brought for you and it will be, be very beneficial for you from the exam point of view. So children let us begin. So my first question is the two Gessler brothers believed in and the options are A. In producing the quantity of boots, boots, B. In producing the quality of boots, C. To employ servants, D. To prompt in business. And the correct option is B. In producing the quality of boots. Question number 2. The author visited the boot shop. And the options are A. Frequently B. Often C. Infrequently D. Just once a year And the correct option is C. Infrequently Question number 3 The authors complain about the boots that creaked left Gessler And the options are A. Annoyed B. In trouble C. In sorrow D. Shocked And the correct option is D. Shocked Question number 4 Mr. Gessler's complaint about the big firm was that They And the options are A. Spoiled his business B. Produced worthless boots. C. Delivered low quality. D. Both A and B. And the correct option is A. Spoiled his business. Question number 5. And the question is. The author felt pity. So he ordered. And the options are. A. A pair of boot. B. Many pairs of boots. C. To mend the boot that creaked, D, both A and B. And the correct option is B, many pairs of boots. Question number 6. Mr. Kessler died of, and the options are A, cholera, B, slow starvation, C, rabies, D, a shock. And the correct option is B. Slow starvation. Question number 7. Mr. Gessler's shop was taken over by and the options are A. The English B. His, his little brother C. An Englishman D. His younger brother And the correct option is C. An Englishman Question number 8. And the question is, the main distinction of the shop of Mr. Gessler was, and the option are, is, and the options are, A, its modern look, B, its quietness, C, the red color, D, its neatness, and the correct option is, B, its quietness. Question number 9. When the author met Mr. Gessler after his brother's death, he found him suddenly and the options are A. Very happy B. 
वेरी सैड सी वेरी वाइज डी वेरी ओल्ड एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज डी वेरी ओल्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन मिस्टर गैसलर डाइड ऑफ एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए स्टावेशन बी हार्ट अटैक C. Accident. D. Some other disease. And the correct option is A. Starvation. He had died because of slow starvation. Question number eleven. Prove that Mr. Gessler was not an Englishman. And the options are A. He did not have any etiquettes. B. Inferences of his mother. C he disliked englishman d he was beaten by an englishman and the correct option is b inferences of his mother question number 12 where did mr gasler live and the options are a he lived in london in his shoe shop b he lived in brisbane in a hut C he lived in Queensland D he lived in New York and the correct option is A he lived in London in his shoe shop Question number 13 what material did Mr Gasler use to make the boots and the options are A finest quality leather B rough leather C soft rax raxine d imported rough raxine and the correct option is a finest quality leather question number 14 the name plate was missing at mr kessler shop as and the options are a it was broken b it was out of fashion c it was taken out by someone D it was stolen away and the correct option is C it was taken out by someone Question number 15 Mr Gasler smiled while replying the question because he and the options are A agreed with the speaker B felt proud of his work C was pleased that someone had praised him d none of the above and the correct option is b felt proud of his work question number 16 what did the author place the order for and the options are a gloves b boots c socks d none of these and the correct option is b boots question number 17 and the question is what has caused the slow business for shoemaker and the options are a the author had brought shoes from a big firm b the author's shoes didn't last long c the fact that mr kessler was losing all business and was having a tough time d the author had not visited mr kessler's shop for long and the correct option is c the fact that mr kessler was losing all business and was having a tough time question number 18 the author turned out to be and the options are A a kind man B careless about others emotions C avoiding going to the shop D a busy man and the correct option is A a kind person question number 19 what happened to mr gasler and the options are A he was ill B He was upstairs. C. He had not come to work that day. D. He was dead. And the correct option is D. 
he was dead question number 20 why was the author disturbed and the options are a he was worried about the boots b he was getting late c he was worried about mr castles well being d he didn't like the young man and the correct option is c he was worried about mr castles well being question number 21 the infrequent visits by author was due to and the options are a castles shoes lasted long b the author did not get the time c the father kept busy d gasler shoes were or bad quality wear of bad quality and the correct option is a gasler shoes lasted long question number 22 the shoes making for mr gasler was and the options are a a difficult task b an easy task c an art d quite expensive and the correct option is c an art question number 23 the line face showed means and the options are a his satisfaction for b his struggle for survival advertisement c the line on his face d his problems and the correct option is b his struggle for survival of advertisement question number 24 the author could guess that mr kessler was not in favor of and the options are a big firms b advertisement by big firms c good quality d bad quality and the correct option is b advertisement by big firms question number 25 in modern times the big firms and the options are a get good business in summer b are cheating the people c have employed advertisers d are minting money and the correct option is b are cheating the people question number 26 the line he lost everybody who said this and the options are a a young english man b the younger brother c the elder brother d the company manager and the correct option is a a young english man question number 27 he took long time to execute his order shows because and the options are a people customers b associates c brother d friends and the correct option is a people customers question number 28 the story quality is written by and the options are a leo tolstoy b john galsworthy c sharda dwedi d vasant surya and the correct option is b john galsworthy question number 29 what was the name of the german shoemaker and the options are a mr john b mr joker c mr castle d none of the above and the correct option is c mr castle question number 30 in which country was the german shoemaker settled and the options are a in india b in japan c in america d in london and the correct option is d in london question number 31 who made 
or the shoes and the correct option and the options are a john mr john b mr joker c mr gasler d none of the above and the correct option is c mr gasler question number 32 with whom did mr gasler live in his shop and the options are a with his father b with his elder brother c with his mother d with his elder sister and the correct option is b with his elder brother question number 33 when did the author visit kessler shop and the options are a when the author wanted to talk to him b when the author was in need of shoes c when the author was in the market d when the author was feeling uneasy and the correct option is b when the author was in need of shoes as his shoes lasted for a very long time question number 34 what did gessler die of and the options are a tuberculosis b malaria c covid d slow starvation and the correct option is slow starvation question number 35 what type of shoemaker was mr gessler and the options are a simple b ordinary c quality d none of the above and the option and the correct option is c quality question number 36 According to Gessler who does not have self respect and the options are a the author b the big firms c all the shoemakers in the city d the customers and the correct option is b the big firms question number 37 what was author's opinion about mr gessler as a shoemaker and the options are a he considered him as an ordinary shoemaker b he considered him as a selfish shoemaker c he considered him as a skilled shoemaker who made only what was ordered d none of the above I hope children you are getting them all right so whatever we are doing you also keep on marking and you will be doing it right so this question number 37 your c option is correct now let's move towards question number 38 what was the main distinction to show of mr gasler and the options are a no sign upon the shop other than gessler's brother's name b less shoes for display c many pairs of shoes on display d both a and b so the correct option is d both a and b that is no sign upon the shop other than gessler's brother's name and there were less shoes for display question number 39 how often did the author visit the boot shop and the options are a frequently b daily c infrequently d once in a year and the correct option is c infrequently question number 40 how do you know that mr gessler was not an englishman and the options are A he did not have etiquettes B inferences with his mother's tongue C he disliked englishman D all of the above and the correct option is B inferences of his mother tongue question number 41 what was the sound that beat the narrow wooden stairs and the options are A 
the sound of some marbles b the sound of a round bell c the tip taps of slippers d the sound of rain drops and the correct option is c the tip taps of slippers question number 42 which type of material did mr gasler use to make the boots and the options are a soft wax seam b rough leather c imported wax seam d finest quality leather and the correct option is d finest quality leather question number 43 what did the author order why did the author order many pair of boots and the options are a he will be joyful b he felt pity c he was upset d he was a gentle man and the correct option is b he felt pity question number 44 tell the notion of mr gessler's about the big firms and the options are they are they have quality boots b they are minting money c they are good producers d they are cheating the people and the correct option is d they are cheating the people question number 45 which type of apron was mr gasler wearing and the options are a plastic b leather c cotton d steel and the correct option is b leather question number 46 which type of boot the author demanded and the options are a russian slippers b fine leather fine leather boots c russian leather boots d rubber boots and the correct option is c russian leather boots i hope children you are also getting them all right now i move towards question number 47 when did mr gessler say to give author shoes and the options are a after 3 days b tomorrow fortnight c next day d after one week and the correct option is b tomorrow fortnight question number 48 the author was not able to go to him for a round and the options are a 3 years b 5 years c 6 years and d 2 years and the correct option is d 2 years so the author was not able to go and meet mr kessler for last 2 years the reason being his shoes lasted for a very long time so now let us move to question number 49 what is the significance of the title quality and the options are a the shoes mr kessler made b the shoes the author made c the shoes made by big firms d none of the above and the correct option is a the shoes mr gessler made question number 50 and the and the question is how did the author come to know about the shoemaker mr gessler from the from the days of his extreme youth and the options are a because he was his brother b because he made the author's father's boot c because he thought woolen socks because he bought woolen socks from him d because he lived in the narrator's neighborhood and the correct option is b because he made the author's father's boots question number 
what always troubled the author and the options are a to go into gessler's brothers and stretch out his foot b to rest in the wooden chair waiting for the shoemaker c to account for those and wearing boot on the windows d to tell the shoemaker how well his shoes fitted and the correct option is c to account for those unwearing boots on the windows question number 52 and the question is what is the meaning of the expression making water come into one's mouth and the options are a making you want to eat something b emphasize that something is very attractive c suggesting a hole or a leak d being tempted to steal something and the correct option is b emphasize that something is very attractive question number 53 what kind of what had a marvelous scooty glow and the options are a pair of pumps b tall brown riding boots c patent leathers with cloth tops d a pair of russian leathers and the correct option is b tall brown riding boots question number 54 how did the boots made easy mr made by mr gessler seem to the narrator so how did the boots made by mr gessler was liked by the narrator or the author and the options are a very fashionable b inexpensively slim c rough and outdated design d mysterious and wonderful and the correct option is d mysterious and wonderful question number 55 what was where was the shop of mr gessler and the options are a russia b germany c fashionably placed in the west end d america and the correct option is c fashionably placed in the west end question number 56 at what is date the author begin at what age did the author begin ordering the boot for himself at gessler's brother that is how old was he when he started ordering the boot for himself and the options are a 15 years b 14 years c 13 years d 16 years and the correct option is b 14 years question number 57 what best describes mr gessler as the author introduces him in the beginning of the story and the options are a as an epitome of quality excellence and dedication b as a greedy man c as an eccentric man d as an absent minded artist and the correct option is a as an epitome of quality excellence and dedication question number 58 what kind of shoes did mr gessler make and the options are a too beautiful b of inferior quality c highly gaudy and ornamental d pure and chaste and the correct option is a too beautiful Question number 59 What was the striking similarity between Mr Gessler and his elder brother and the options are A they were yellow crinkly hair B they were social outcast C they had well built stature 
D. They were diligent and dedicated. And the correct option is D. They were diligent and dedicated. Question number 60. Why was it not possible to go to Mr. Gessler very often? And the options are A. His shop would remain closed. B. He was an unprofessional shoemaker. C. He was dependent on his elder brother. D. His shoes lasted terribly long. And the correct option is D. His shoes lasted terribly long. Question number 61. How did one go into Kessler's brother? And the options are A. Respectfully as one enters a church. B. Quietly as one enters a school. C. Hurriedly as one enters a hospital. D. Worried as one enters an examination hall. And the correct option is A. Restfully as one enters a church. Question number 62. What is referred to as an incense of trade? And the options are A. Sweet smelling bouquet of flowers. B. Smell of leather. C. Smell of shoe polish. D. Sweat and body odor. And the correct option is B. Smell of leather. Question number 63. What is referred to in Zentembak? And the options are A. Russian leather boots. B. Pair of pumps. C. Gum boots. D. Last pair of town walking boots. And the correct option is D. Last pair of town walking boots. Question number 64. And the question is, what feeling for the creaking boots surged up in the author's heart? And the options are A. Regret B. Pride C. Compassion D. Love And the correct option is C. Compassion Question number 65. What would Mr. Gasler do if he failed to repair the creaking boots? And the options are A. He would take them to the author's bill. B. He would make another pair. C. He would blame the author for damaging them. For damaging them. And the correct option is A. He would take them to the author's bill. Question number 66. And the options are. And, and the question is. Those are not my boots. What was Mr. Gessler's tone? And the options are. A. Anger. B. Sorrow. C. Contempt. D. Something quite that froze the blood. And the correct option is D. Something quite that froze the blood because he used to make finest quality leather wood. So there was no room for any doubt for any mistake. Question number 67. Which one is one of the hardships of the shoemaking trade? And the options are A. There is a lack of good shoemakers. B. There is no competition in the market. C. There is no proper workhouse available. D. Small shoemakers face stiff competition from big firms. And the correct option is D. Small shoemakers face stiff competition from big firms. Question number 68. How do big firms get greater business and prosper? And the options are a. They get a lot of advertisement. B. They have huge acres of land. C. There are no small artisans. D. They invest a lot in other ventures. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन नाइन वाई डिड द ऑथर ऑर्डर मेनी पेयर ऑफ बूथ फ्रॉम मिस्टर गैसनर एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए ऑल द अदर बूथ बिलोंगिंग टू हिम वेर ओल्ड एंड टॉन बी द ऑथर वॉज मूव्ड बाय द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ बिटरनेस एंड स्ट्रगल इन द फेस ऑफ मिस्टर गैसलर C. All the other shops were closed. D. Mr. Gessler requested the author to buy them. And the correct option is B. The author was moved by the expression of bitterness and struggle in the face of Mr. Gessler. Question number seventy. Who? Why was the author surprised when he went to Mr. Gessler's shop? After two years, and the options are A. He found that the shop was demolished. B. The entire neighborhood was changed. C. He found that another name was painted on one of the two little windows of Mr. Gessler's shop. D. He found another shoemaker in place of Mr. Gessler, and the correct option is C. He found that. Another name was painted on one of the two little windows of Mr. Gessler's shop. Question number seventy-one: How many boots were ordered by the author, although he wanted only two pairs? And the correct op and the options are A. Three, three pairs. B. Four pairs. Pairs. C. Five pairs. D six pairs, and the correct option is A. Three, that is three pairs were ordered by him, though he wanted only two pairs. Question number seventy two. Why did Mr. Gessler give away half of his shop? And the options are A. He was sick. B. He was in a great debt. C. He was not able to sustain the whole shop. D. His brother had stopped working with him, and the correct option is C. He was not able to sustain the whole shop. Question number seventy-three. How did Mr. Gessler change after the death of his elder brother? And the options are A. Became lame. B. He became aged and wan. C. He became lazy. D. He became an ascetic, and the correct option is B. He became aged and wan. Question number seventy-four. How many shoes were in parcel received from Miss from the old Mister Gessler? And the options are A. Four pairs. B. Two pairs. C. Five pairs. D. Three pairs. And the correct option is A. Four pairs. Question number seventy-five. Why did the author turn on go away quickly after knowing about Mr. Gessler's death? And the options are: A. He was late. B. He was feeling sick. C. His eyes were brimming with tears. D. He was indifferent and just wanted to leave. And the correct option is C. His eyes were brimming with tears, so he was very sad on hearing Mr. Gasler's death. Question number seventy-six. What is the symbolic significance of the tragedy of Gasler's brothers? And the options are A. Poverty. B. Vanity. C. Corruption. And D. Moral decay in society where human values are threatened by material gain. So the correct option is D. Moral decay in society where human values are threatened by material gain. Question number seventy-seven. Whatever Mr. Gessler's earned was spent in rent and dash, and the options are. A books, B cloth, C leather, D furniture. 
So the correct option is C. Leather. Question number seventy-eight. The author wrote dash and posted it to Mr. Kessler. And the options are A. A letter. B. A note. C. A check. D. A poem. So the correct option is C. A check. Question number seventy-nine. Mr. Kessler was a dash. And the options are a photographer, B a goldsmith, C a shoemaker, D a milkman. So the correct option is C, shoemaker. Question number eighty. Mr. Kessler was the best shoemaker in, and the options are A, Paris, B London, C Mumbai, D Tokyo. And the correct option is B. London. Question number eighty-one. Mr. Kessler made good dash, and the options are A. Bags, B. Boots, C. Chairs, D. Mobiles. And the correct option is B. Boots. Question number question number eighty-two, and the question is. John Galsworthy, Worthy's father, was one of the dash of Mr. Gessler, and the options are A. Customer, B. Friends, C. Doctor, D. Lawyer, and the correct option is A. Customer. So, children, these were eighty-two MCQs which I have taken from the lesson quality written by. John Galsworthy hope these 82 MCQs will prove beneficial for you in your studies and you will surely come out with flying colors read the chapter first thoroughly and then go through these MCQs and i hope you will come out with flying colors do like share and subscribe my channel thank you